Have you ever just wanted to make a meal, use one pot, and not tear up the kitchen? Well, in this video, I am doing exactly that. I am making a one pot meal, and I am cooking chicken jollof rice. It's a West African dish that I've not tried before, but I love West African food. It is just so spicy, so delicious, so let's give this a try. And stay to the end so that you can be sure to hear my special announcement. So the first thing I'm going to do is to fry this chicken. I'm just going to shallow fry. It's just going to be fried lightly on each side. So I'll put some olive oil in my pot. And I'll turn that on. And while the pot's heating up, I will share with you what else I'm going to be using now. What else do we need for this job of chicken? Well, we need some peppers and a red and a yellow, but I got an orange because I had half a yellow pepper in the fridge. So I picked up these two new ones. We also need a cup of tomato sauce, three bay leaves, a tablespoon of chopped, or shall I say minced ginger, five teaspoons of minced garlic, a chopped onion, two cups of basmati rice. I am really looking forward to having this rice. I haven't had basmati rice for a while. Three cups of chicken broth, and you guys know I love the better than base, chicken base, rather the better than bouillon chicken base. And I also have my own chicken broth that I've made, so I might grab some of that just to kind of mix it in, we'll see. Then also some thyme, and this is thyme that I preserved myself for my own garden. Some pepper, curry powder, and of course a little bit of salt. So while the pot is heating up, I'll play sous chef and start getting these veggies cut up. There's my yellow pepper. I'm going to use all of the red pepper and just half of the orange. And I'll just see the pepper. I'm going to sprinkle a little salt and pepper on the chicken. Now I'm just going to put these in the pan to fry. Now I'm going to let this fry on medium to medium high heat for about three or four minutes on each side. And while that's doing its thing, I'll get these vegetables sliced and cut. Now I'm going to get this chicken out of the pan and sit it in this clean plate. The chicken is a nice golden brown. Let me show you. This is probably about a tablespoon of ginger. 
So I will get it peeled. I love the smell of fresh ginger root. It just smells so good. This will impart a nice spicy little flavor to the chicken jollof rice. Now, I'm supposed to put in two scotch bonnet peppers, but I am not putting those peppers in. Those peppers are hot, hot, hot. And I don't like the heat. I don't even like habanero and jalapeno and all of those. So I will add a dash of red chili pepper flakes. Just a dash. Give it a little bit of authenticity, but I do not like the heat. So we won't be having any scotch peppers in here. So I will now add my onions and my peppers. And I will scrape up all that goodness from when the chicken was frying. That way I can coat the peppers with the oil. And I'm just going to cook them until they're tender. Because this is going to go in the oven for about an hour, so they'll cook down even more. So we'll get them tenderized. Now we'll add in the garlic and the ginger. And we will saute that for about a minute. And so far, I've only used one pot. I'm loving this. Add in three teaspoons of dried thyme, three teaspoons of curry powder, Give that a stir. Put a little bloom on those spices. I'm just really heating them up. I can smell it. We're supposed to have tacos today. And then this is actually for tomorrow's dinner. But I'm thinking my husband's going to be like, look, we can have tacos tomorrow. Let's eat this today. And we also add in our cup of a tomato sauce. Now this is actually a tomato soup mixture that we had tomato soup for lunch yesterday. And we had some left over and so I thought well let's just use that. So that's what we're doing. And I'm supposed to add those hot peppers in here now. So I'll just add a dash of my Heinz chili sauce, which you guys know I love. And just a couple of dashes of red pepper flakes. That's about as hot as we're going to get. Now we add in our three cups of chicken broth. And look at this picture. Isn't it pretty? I got this from my friend Mary at Mary's Nest. She gave it to me when I was just kind of getting started with my channel on YouTube and I've used it enough to know that it holds exactly three cups of liquid. Isn't it pretty? So I just love to use it. I'm gonna scooch the bottom of the pan just a little bit just to make sure I get up all of that goodness that might have collected on the bottom. I'm gonna taste the broth now just to see if it's good. Mmm, spicy! It's good, but it is definitely a teeny bit spicy, so I'm glad I didn't put much of those chili flakes or chili sauce in here. The ginger spices it up nicely. So I'm going to let this simmer for a minute or two, and then I'll add my rice so that the rice is all nicely coated. Now we're going to pour in the rice. According to the recipe, I should have poured the rice in before I put the chicken broth in, and I didn't. But I'll give it a good stir so that the rice is nicely coated. I'll add my bay leaves. Give that a stir. Now we'll put the chicken back in. 
And I've had the oven preheating all along, so it'll be ready to receive our dish. It just seems like there ought to be carrots in this dish. Now if the pot you have doesn't come with a lid, then you can just cover your dish with aluminum foil and you'll know that it's just about done when you can smell those good aromas wafting up from your oven. But since my pot came with a lid, I thought I'd rather use that and that'll just conserve on my aluminum foil. Especially with the cost of everything these days, I'm trying to save everything that I can. So I'm going to let this cook in the oven for about an hour at 350 degrees and I will clean up my other stuff but I don't have any other pots or anything like that. Just my knife and my chopping board and things like that. So I'll go ahead and take care of that and we'll come back when it's ready to check on it. This is probably a good time to tell you that this video is actually part of a collaboration hosted by Leona Dooley of Ebony, Ivy, and Time in the Kitchen. She wanted us all to create one-pot meals that families could use to save time in the kitchen and to save money. And this dish that I cook today can definitely feed a family of six and save some money. We think about the rice, the peppers, the chicken, that kind of thing. So it's certainly a cost-effective meal. I also want to show you my new Swedish dish cloth. I am loving these Swedish dish cloths. Oh, and they're real kind of firm like this when you first get them because they have to be firm for them to get the design printed on them. But once you get them wet, they get nice and soft. And I just love them. I got my first one a while back as a, in a gift box of something and I thought, hmm. And I kind of liked it, so I ordered some in for Apron Diva. And now here's the thing about these is that, like I said, they're nice and soft and they're perfect for cleaning. So I use mine to wash dishes. Some of the other YouTube creators use theirs to do other cleaning products. But you can unpaper towel, as Kate Caden says, by using these because one of these Swedish dish, dish cloths can replace up to 15 to 20 rolls of paper towels because you can just throw them in your dishwasher when your dishes are washing. You could just put them in there and put them on one of the little racks. But what I do is I throw them in the washing machine with my kitchen linen. So I am loving these. So you'll have to go to Apron Diva and check them out. So yes, please do that. And then I'll get these dishes washed up while that chicken jollof rice is cooking. And it's going to take about an hour. So when it comes out, I'll let you see what's what. It's smelling awfully good. checked it when I did. I thought I would need it for an hour, but I guess since my lid kept everything nice and tight in there. All right, let's give the rice a taste. Mm. This rice is delicious. Here's a little piece of chicken. Let's taste it. Mmm. Nice and tender. Spicy. This is delicious. But I should have put some carrots in it. Mmm, 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 mmm. 
Well, I'll put the lid back on and let it stay warm until I'm ready to plate it up, which won't be for a little bit, but I think we're gonna have this for dinner tonight. We'll have the tacos tomorrow. All right, so now for my big announcement. Now, Leona does have a playlist of the other one-pot meals that other creators have made, so be sure to check it out because I tell you what, some of those meals are just that much better than the last one. And what Leona cooked up was, oh my goodness, so be sure and check out the playlist. Now, here's my exciting news that I wanted to share. We got in a box of goodies yesterday, and oh my goodness, I was waiting and waiting and waiting. So let me show you a couple of the things we got in. I haven't even opened, I hadn't even opened this up, but oh my goodness. Oh, look at this. Oh wait, I have got to try this on right now. I just love denim style aprons. So I just had to put the little loops on. And adjust it to where I want it. And oh my goodness. I love this. I love the kind of grunge look that comes with this. Here, look at this. Oh, I love it. And look at this like distressed pocket. Oh my goodness. Love it. So we've got these new ones in, in this gray color. And then we also got a blue. And these are unisex, so. Oh my goodness. This blue is amazing. Oh, I love this. This pocket. Oh, there's two pockets. So you got this distressed pocket on the side. Then you have this pocket here. Where's my cell phone? Yep, cell phone fits right there. So, oh, I am loving this. I can see me wearing this when I'm working to clean, to cook, and in the garden. Oh, and this could be my new, well, I don't usually wear an apron in the laundry lab, but wouldn't this be amazing for the laundry lab? Oh my goodness. So anyway, so these are two new ones we got in. And then we got in some new ones for spring. So let me show you those. Well, let's get this out of the way. Can you tell I'm excited? And look at this box. Look at this thing. I mean, I'm lucky everything arrived safely. Let me get this down. I feel like it's in the way. <sighs> All right. So this one. We, we're going to call it Birdie. And it's perfect for spring, summer, and fall. And look at those flowers. I love the deep blue of those. Then you've got the burgundies. You've got the butterflies. And then you've got the cute little birds that are here. Here's a hummingbird here and here. So I love this. So there's that one. And we've got dish towels to go with it. So you can have on your spring apron and you've got a dish towel to match this one. Now, if you really like things girly, especially with Mother's Day coming, this one will be perfect. Look at the pink and the pale green that comes with that. And it looks like we've got like rosemary on there, but those are actually the leaves of the flowers, but I'm really loving this one. Oh, and the rickrack that's on it. I mean, I should say the lace. So this one gives me a vintage vibe. Like I'm really feeling the 50s and the 60s with this one. 
And like I said, it is so spring-like, so we just called it spring because, I mean, what else could you call it but spring? I didn't order in towels from that one, though. I have been hearing your message. A couple of you asked for tote bags, so look at these. Cute little flower marker tote bags. So we have these on the site. These are reusable. You can just wipe them down with a damp cloth if you get some kind of stickiness or something like that on there. So you can take these when you go shopping. So we have those on the site. These are the dish towels that go with the birdie apron. Oh, and then we got in some more lemon aprons. We had the Libby Lemon last summer and then we sold out and it was such a good seller and people were always asking about them. So we got in about six more of these. So we've got the lemon apron. And then just trying something new to see how you guys like it. It's a pot holder gift set. And we were thinking with Mother's Day coming that we ought to have a few little gift sets. So we thought we would try this one. And it's got a cute little waffle weave dish towel that comes with it. And you know, whenever you get new dish towels, you're supposed to wash them first before you use them. Otherwise, they won't be very absorbent. I gave that tip on Instagram today. And then here is the oven mitt or the pot holder that comes with it. So, so it's a little gift set that we've got. Hey, it matches my dress. We do have some of these aprons ordered, but they won't be in for a while. The problems with shipping and the distribution line has affected my business just like it's affected everybody else's. So we won't get any of these aprons in until probably August. And then the last thing, the Swedish dish towels, which I showed you earlier when I was cleaning up the sink. And as you can see, they're nice and rigid. So we have these. So these are the new goodies that we got in. I think I showed you everything. Yep. So Mickey Blue Skies worked like a mad woman and she got everything up on the site, except for these two new grungy gray and blue ones. We'll work on those in the next few days. I gotta get this video edited and get it up. And I've got my show to do tomorrow. So I won't be able to get these two pieces photographed probably until Saturday. So if you're thinking you might want one of those grunge pieces, you better send me an email and tell me you want to put a hold on it. Anyway, I just had to show you our goodness. So sorry if this isn't what you stopped by for. For more One Pot Meal inspiration, click on the link in the description box below. And to see more of my homemaking stories, click here. In the meantime, this is Denise Jordan saying you are not done yet. Click on the link in the comment section below and check out another of my homemaking stories. And I will see you next time. And don't forget to visit us at www.aprondiva.com.